Thank you, everyone. Thanks again, once again, for tuning in to Porch Talk. It's me and Miss Fifi. Hi, everyone. Yes. Hi, hi. And we're bringing you a uh, <laughs> relationship topic. We talk about uh, man and wife today? Mm, just relationship, period. Mm -hmm. It's nice guys that turn off. Nice guy? Mm hmm. Is a nice guy turn off? Yeah, can he be too nice? I mean, if he if he treats you if he like one of them glass guys, that's what I call them, glass guys. If he if he one of them, then yeah, move. You know, I mean, like now, don't get me wrong. I like chivalry. Chivalry right. is very much so alive. I appreciate a man that can hold open the door and you know and um, hold a small of your back, hold your hand. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you go up on the curb, know what side of the sidewalk you're supposed to walk on, stuff like that or whatever. I think that's awesome, but. You know, just the glass guys. Because, you know, sometimes, you know how guys just, you be too pretty or something, and it just, you be looking like, ugh. Oh, what you think? My thing with men is this. When I was dating or whatever, it was this one guy. It was just, he was just too much. I mean, within maybe a month or whatever, he was talking about getting married. He was blowing up my phone every five seconds. You was the one in the million. Uh, mm -mm. He was crazy. He was blowing up my motherfucking phone too much every time I looked up. And, you know, you want to hear from your boo and all that. But constantly just blowing it up, blowing up, blowing To the point where I stopped answering, then he would start calling me blocked. Hmm. And then, then he a little crazy then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a little. And something stupid. happened to her. Oh, you ain't want to answer me this, but you answer me now or something like that. I don't. It was something crazy as hell. Yeah, but I had to get rid of him. It just, you know. So he went over his auntie house and called you from his auntie house. Maybe to see. If oh, go just call me. Star six nine from his cell phone. But my thing is like this. It's like, hey, call this number are you me. nice? Or are you crazy? Call, days, call this number for me. Mm -hmm. mm hmm. Like he seemed a little bit off, and so I just think. I think you should be nice. I think men should continue to be nice. I think the stigma that men feel like nice guys finish last yeah. is kind of, it has some truth to it, but that's without balance. If you're just too nice to the point where you're just letting females walk all over you, then yeah, I mean. Nice What's the definition of nice though? Treat me with respect. I, wanna be, I don't want no motherfucking grouch. Every time I see you, I want you grimacing and upset about something. Hey, baby, how's your day? You know, chivalry, like you said. You know, just be balanced. But be a man, you know. Right. Have some balls. Say it with your chest, you know. Let me see that Adam's apple. Flex the muscles. Don't be no bitch. Don't no girl want that. Well, no. No one wants a wimp, you know. Just, but, yeah, yeah. I mean, do you have some tef testosterone about yourself for the most part? But yeah, do I mean you will always want to treat a, a lady with respect? And I think I think it's just all a matter of how the girl is too, like the caliber of the girl. Because I think that females do a good job in adjusting to how the men are, mm -hmm. but I don't think that men pay enough attention all the time. I'm not gonna say all, you know, but all the time, you know, they don't pay enough attention to um, the type of girl that they're dealing with. So they can know if, you know, she like this kind or just like borderline hood, not hood at all, hood as hell, you know what I'm saying? Or hood as fuck, you know, cause it is a difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what type of guys you like though? Like what, what gets your attention? Just to prove a point. Well, I do like um, big old um, grizzly bear. I would say would be my <laughs> description. I mean, you know, physically and just like how they carry themselves. But I do like, you know, I like a gentleman. Like I like a guy that that knows how to um, treat a lady. Like I, you know, I want him. I really want him to spoil me. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm a brat, and I just want. She is. Yeah, and I mean, I want what I want, and I'm worth it. So I just feel like, but I want a big old black ass man with some pretty teeth and a fat nose to um to just give it to me nose this big yes like just girth just, uh, yeah <sighs> and some teeth yeah he can tell me anything he can tell me what to do i'm just saying dark taller than me and sexy smart i do like i don't yeah resourceful got yeah. some skills all of that nice job and I, I he didn't even have it. to have a, you know, well, I won't even say like not a job, but I want him to, of course, like he needs to be able to have an income. Yeah. But he just needs to be, like you said, resourceful about it. Mm -hmm. I like um, self made men. Yeah. I love that. Just always busy doing, you know, getting get some money. You know, over here cooking big chicken and washing my cat just mad. I'm oh. sorry, I didn't mean to say that. 
Well, thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you comment. Check in next time. Bye. <laughs> Make sure you choose Rocky Road Productions LLC Porsche Talk to feed your entertainment needs. And you can do that by following us on Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you like this video and share it with all your family and friends. Tag somebody in it, why don't you? And don't forget to comment down below and let us know how you feel. And before you leave, make sure you subscribe. That's right, you'll catch us every week. Looking forward to see you again next time. Bye.